Hello dear students and classmates, I'm Julio and today I'm going to talk about uh, brainstorming. Brainstorming is a free writing technique. Uh, mostly we are going to learn about free writing and clustering free writing techniques. But you may wonder what is brainstorming? Okay, let's take a look to this image we, we have here. These visual aids are going to help us to understand what brainstorming is. Look the first one, it's a brain and a claw. And the second one is look like the brain and a light bulb too. The third one is a brain like a claw and it's raining ideas. The fourth one is pretty similar to the third one and also is pretty cool. Okay, here we have some definitions about what a brainstorming is. According to Cambridge Dictionary, brainstorming is an activity or a business method in which a group of people meet to suggest a lot of new ideas for a possible development. A second definition, according to Merriam Western Dictionary, Brainstorming is the mulling over ideas by one or more individuals in attempt to devise or find a solution to a problem. Okay, let's start with the first free writing te technique. Free writing. Uh, look at this image. It's like, as you can see, you can take your novel and start writing any idea that comes into your mind about the topic you are interested in. No matter if you start with a concept, the truly important thing is that you write whatever comes to your mind. For this method, you must set a timer from 5 to 10 minutes and write about anything that comes to mind. Do not erase or choose any idea at the beginning of this process. This will be done at the end of the whole process. Okay, people, now you know. Don't feel worried if you think one idea is bad or is silly. You have to do that at the end of the entire process. Okay, also in pre writing, in free writing, excuse me, uh, here we have an example. For example, imagine that you are writing about motivation. So, right now, start writing the first idea that appears in your mind there in the, the next one and so forth and so on no matter if these are long or short let's get a try pause the video and free write in your notebook about the motivation and then an example it will be provided to you compare both okay people pause your 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 video and try it okay now it's done the motivation is the strength that moves us to achieve our goals. That is what I wrote. So something like like that is what is supposed you have to wrote. The next uh, pre-writing technique is clustering or mind map. Uh, where I wrote another name. So this can be called clustering or my map. In different schools or college, uh, they they name it different. So don't worry, it's the same. Clustering and my map are the same. Here we have an example, an image of brainstorming. It's like it's also like an scheme, you know. So you don't have to be worried. You can call it whatever you want: scheme, clustering, or my map. The use and the purpose is the same. As free writing, clustering is a pre writing technique that helps writers to come up with new ideas or organize better the ones you already have in topics and subtopics. You must start by writing the topic in the middle of the page or electronic presentation you are doing. You might close the topic in a circle, square, or bowl. Is that entirely depend on you guys? Do not worry if your cluster is not aesthetic because it's like a draft to come out to come with some ideas, not an art, not not an artwork, you know. So don't worry, it is not perfect 
or you think is disorganized. It's just to get more ideas to write. For example, you can use these two techniques to write an essay or a paragraph. Okay, here we have my example of, of uh, clustering. As you can see, I wrote teaching language skills that is the main topic in the middle of the page and the subtopics uh, in one side, each other. So, yes, this is my example and uh, you have to do it like this. Okay, people, that's all for today. Thanks for your attention and God bless you. I wish you the best. Bye-bye and take care. I hope you learn a lot.